Ooh, that's eerie. I like it. Ooh, look at that fill light. Whoa. Am I still recording? The obsessive pay pay. What's up guys, welcome back to the Obsessive DP. I'm Ryan. Today we are going to go over what is a DP? Because some of you might have come to this channel and been like, I've seen that DP acronym before. I've seen those two letters side by side before. I don't know what it means. Well, it's kind of akin to a cinematographer. A lot of people use the terms DP and cinematographer interchangeably. I feel that they're different. I feel a cinematographer is not as well versed in the in let's say the film world i feel like their role isn't as precise i know a lot of people that are cinematographers directors dps editors they have a million titles i don't think that is the best route to go i think that really laser focusing in on, on a title on a role on set is really going to help you out and that's why i refer to myself as a director of photography i like that it has the word photography in it because we're looking at everything in the frame the frame is your playground, is your world. You need to own every corner of it. First thing I do when we set up the camera is I look at every corner of the frame to make sure that what we're seeing in frame is what we wanna see in frame. We're not seeing a C-stand, or we're not seeing half of a product or half of a prop, whereas we wanna see the full prop. So that's what you're doing, is you're just staring at that frame. Photography is the study of light. And if you don't have light, you don't have a movie. Maybe you have sound, maybe it's a podcast, maybe it's audio only, but if you don't have light, you can't see anything. Case in point, I am lit right now by my laptop. Let me turn the laptop brightness off. And you're seeing like a street light. Anyway, if, if you didn't see that red light, the frame would be completely black. And no one wants to watch a video like this, right? Where's the light? This is not a podcast. You need to see what we're talking about. That's why I like the word photographer. And that's why lighting is super important. I use that as my key fill and backlight, by the way, in case you didn't notice. Triple usage. I like the term director of photography because you are directing the photography. You know, they call uh, when you shoot a movie, the main part of shooting, they call that the principal photography. That is just a term that stuck around and it is. It's just a ton of photos. It's 23.98 photos per second. Uh, a lot of people may say DOP, director of photography or DP, director of photography. The term cinematographer, I, I just see like an old film canister. I see an old Aeriflex camera with the film stock and just like a guy looking around, you know, getting a shot. That's a cinematographer. A director of photography, however, how I like to handle my role on set is I actually like to sit behind monitor right next to the director. That way we can sync up, I can see what's happening in frame, and if anything is clashing or if we have an idea we wanna to throw to each other, we're right there. I'm not 10 feet away holding the camera. Now, what does the director of photographer really do? Well, they are controlling, like I said, they're controlling everything in the image, but let's break that down for a minute. They're controlling lighting. Obviously, that's number one. I really like to hone in my lights. Essentially, I'll give my idea to the gaffer and he'll kind of go do it with some grips. And so I'll work the gaffer for lighting. I'll work with movement on the camera and lensing with the director. So you want to make sure that the lenses fit the content of the, of the video and that you and the director are on the same page and you understand what the lenses are gonna do. You know, is it gonna be a 100 millimeter? Is it gonna be a 14 millimeter super wide? Are we gonna have vintage glass? Are we gonna do anamorphic? Those are things you talk about in pre-production, but you wanna make sure that you're synced up and that the glass that you use fits your project perfectly, seamlessly. It just it just works. Camera movement is a huge one. You know, are you gonna use a steady cam? Are you gonna use a gimbal? Are you gonna use a dolly? Are you gonna do handheld, shoulder rig, snorri cam, car rig? There's so many options that you could do and you're directing that movement. Obviously the director usually has the final say. It's kind of a collaboration dance between the director and the director of photography for all these aspects. But since you're the god of everything in frame, you're working with the director to make sure his vision looks right. Because the director is gonna be worried about actors, performance, about the overarching story, making sure that is all tied in and works well. They just have a ton of other things going on. Whereas the director of photography, they're worried about the camera and the angles and the lensing and the lighting, making sure everything is working in the frame. They're also working with the production designer. You wanna make sure the colors look right. The color palette fits the subject. The props and frame are all lined up and looking nice. The first thing I do when I go to set is set the camera down, leave all the practicals on, and just see what angles look best. For instance, we just did a porch shoot. 
where we're shooting through a porch. And the first thing I did was walk in the frame because I knew where my actors were going to be. And I did this to see what was actually going to be in the frame. You know, is it going to be a house across the street? Do you need to turn on their lights, manicure their lights? Is the street going to be in frame? You need to light that, backlight that a bit. The grass is going to be in frame. You want to make sure you can make that out and it just doesn't fall away into darkness because this was a night shoot. Am I crooked? This looks crooked. Ooh, look at that fill light. Whoa. So from start to finish, a DP's job on a film, on a spot, commercial, music video, whatever, is to come up with the technical creative of the film. What lenses, what kind of lighting, is this character is one character gonna be moody lighting and one scene gonna be dramatic lighting? You are there to bring the director's vision to life and to suggest things to help it to get there. Obviously the pre-production is all about planning for the production and then once you get there you help block the shots, you help shoot, you help do the composition and framing, making sure everything in the frame that you're capturing is exactly what you want it, manicuring it perfectly. Uh, you're there to make sure the exposure's right, not overexposed, not underexposed. Your know, lenses and filters, obviously that's pre-production, that's something you go through. Do the camera movements fit correctly? Do you want a creepy voyeuristic type of shot, shooting through a window on a super long lens? Do you want a nice smooth shot on a dolly or on a techno crane that just wraps around your subject and makes them look like a boss. There's so many different ways to do camera movement to emote different feelings in the audience. You're also there to direct the color grade. I, I color grade most of our stuff, but the DP, what are they concerned about? And so coloring is part of it. So they want to make sure that the coloring fits, that the scenes, the color palette of each scene, and it just makes sense. And, and make sure you're telling the right story to the audience from every aspect that you have control over. I mean, that's really it. It's kind of a simple video. It's just to recap the whole subject of DP because there's a lot of, of YouTube channels that are cinematographers or they are video creators or videographers. There's so many different terms, but a DP is really an industry standard term that is very specific about a certain job on set. It's not someone just grabbing a camera going to shoot something. It's really honed in laser specific job that makes sure the director's vision comes to life. Comment below if if you have a question or if I missed something. You know, I kind of just ran through this quickly, but let me know if you have any questions. See you on the next one. Stay obsessed.